Yar. Today we be looking at intelligent sea legs. is a hands-on, multi-mode, stereo, digital delay, plus reverb. And it allows you to turn the most humble little beeps into oceanic seas of sound. It's capable of subtle to extreme levels of warmth, drive, colour and character. Due to the fact that it is preset Free. With extensive slider base controls, which is very cool for a delay, it is very hands-on, it's very interactive, and despite its digital nature, the intention, as I say, was to create something that sounds organic, like oceanic, warm and swashy. The nautical name, I think, reflects the thick, fizzy and foamy vibes that Sea Legs creates. But it can obviously, or not obviously, but it can do more traditional, clean digital delays as well. In the words of one of its creators, Daniel Van Tyne, it's difficult to resist putting it on everything. Anyhow, let's be getting aboard the ship and I'll be showing you her ropes before you dash your brains upon the poop deck the moment we turn about. So let's put a sequence through it with Atlantis and Metropolis. Nice. And turn up the mix. So we have three completely different characters that we can choose from. That is tape. BBD and Digi, digital, vintage digital. And each have their own ways of reacting to time modulation and feedback and their own dialable color parameter, which does characterful things in each mode. And we'll try them all in a sec. To this delay, we add a noise parameter, like a hiss that we can turn off. And which we can vary with an alt control. That is to say we can add crackle or hiss, both pre and post filter. We'll get into that in a sec. There's an input attenuator that is also a drive control. And there's a reverb called the fog. <laughs> Perfect for those visits to Spivey Point. You can choose where the fog sits in the network. And we can adjust its length with the alt parameter here. And you can just have the fog by itself without the delay. Whichever thing you prefer, you know, before or after as well. So we've seen we have a switch to adjust the character, tape, BBD and Digi. We also have a little switch to control the overall length of the delay type from LMS, long, medium, Too short. As well 
well as a feedback parameter. And we can obviously clock sea legs. There's a clock input that I'm using here. And if I push this button, I can sync the delay lines and then these faders become divided into multipliers. Now this little middle control controls the overall kind of um, mode of the delay, um, which is to say ping pong. Where the time control is the time control. And the width is like an offset. TW, time and width, where the time is just the time. And width is another offset, but the controls of sort of stereo width effect. And then L and R, where these controls just control the left and the right channel independently. this to control the overall filtration that is to say high pass and low pass high pass obviously very useful for cleaning up the low end and the low pass useful for rolling off high frequencies which especially useful if we increase the color parameters on these delay modes they add artifacts for example in the digi mode it's going to add this kind of crust bbd chaos and verbally madness, and then tape, undesirable tapey things, dropouts and sort of fuzz and, you know, distortion and drive. We can dial this back, get rid of it. And then we can dial it in, and then we can filter it. You have a lot of control over quite how crunked up the delay is and how it's then therefore filtered thereafter. Now, of course, I've been mentioning that these, these kind of slider interface, which I think is very unique and cool for a delay. And on the top, we have CD controls for each of the sliders with a very nice attenuverter under each. So this means that we just have a fantastic scope to CV modulate C legs. And of course, what will we modulate it with? Well, that could be anything from our system. However, it could also be the built-in LFO that is in the center. And so this built-in LFO is also a modulation source um, and it has a bunch of different cross-fadeable modes. I'm not going to go through all of them, but one is wow and flutter mapped with these two controls with a depth control to time. Flutter quiver. If you have the gift of sight, there is an LED that's showing the positive and negative state of that modulation source. We also have envelope following, which will envelope follow the input source and create a signal that we can modulate things with. Low frequency vacillator, that's the thing that you may recognize from the Cascadia, which is a meandering sort of strange uh, source. And then sample and hold, and then square, sign and various other little shapes, saws and things. Well, I did actually go through them all. <laughs> but they're there to quiver up and mess with things. Now, there is this default routing here with the depth control that goes to time. But here, there is a mod output. We can self-modulate C legs to our heart's content. So I could modulate the color. Turn up the attenuator. 
And so by using this mod, using the AUX CV, we can modulate these knob parameters, any of these parameters to the sliders, or indeed any other parameters in our synth. We can use our synth to modulate. Very gorgeous sounding components in sea legs. Big and characterful reverb. And then of course the delay component with color, filtration, feedback, independent time, width, panning, ping pong, clockability, drive, low mid high settings, and three completely independent modes with their own characters and personalities. And finally, freeze. <laughs> In all, it's quite a lot of stuff. It's packed. But it's also one of those ones where you just kind of mess and explore. all places that it takes you. It's a direct, hands-on, performative effect that takes a little sound and makes it massive. Or warms and colours it. Or tears it to pieces. Yar. Let's try the three modes and explore some tricks and jams. So first, let's play with the different modes and let you kind of hear the qualities that they have. This is tape. Which, with the filter fully up, is pretty clean in its own sort of way. I've got it on ping pong mode here. Can you hear how it responds to time? You can filter it, darken its repeats, and then when we add the color, we get some quivers and dropouts. I can add wow and flutter to that, just a bit, with a faster rate. it long. And then when we increase the feedback, this is another way that the various modes react differently. is very important to choose how the feedback kind of repeats and cascades. Loads of colour breaks up. Of course we can dial that back. And then we can dive one. Okay, so, to reset, and then go BBD. Tape and BBD are similar, but BBD is kind of different in how it responds with color. Listen to this. Quivery and fuzzy more so with longer delay times. That's nice. 
such like character in the delays. I really like BBD with high feedback. It becomes very sea legsy, washy, foamy. Dial back the colour, take it out entirely, clean it up. And you get that like nice sort of oceanic thing. It's like a sort of I start like getting like images of like a sort of carpets of the sound becomes like a carpet that spreads out. That makes sense. Sort of big drape you put over your so we can control the sides independently. And then the last one is Digi, which is a sort of vintage digital delay style, which is actually a form of kind of granular delay. So we can nicely when we slip the time controls things just catch up you don't get this like pitch smearing different by the way i've got the uh, delays clocked here so when i shift the clocks or the clock times you don't get a smearing effect different way that it responds to time but we can color it Adds this lovely sizzly aliasy thing. It's based on sort of the character of primitive um, digital delays, like the early digital delays of, I guess, the 70s, but also the 80s, especially. What's it going to apply? Nice to add a little bit of sine wave. Yeah, that kind of quiver, but it's really more of a vibrato. Fog is just the cherry on top. Cherry in the fog. Adding a bit of drive there. feedback. We can create lovely sort of uh, stereo chorusy effects. And of course, when we go into sort of big frippery sound on sound. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty nutty, isn't it? I mean, you just push it around. There's a lot of things in here, but um, I hope what comes across is the exploratory, performative um, nature of it because there aren't presets. Yeah, it's, it's unique in that sense. Um, it feels like a novelty to me. And it just sounds really foamy. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, yes, moving on. In this example, we have just the perfect amount of ping pong joy with the BBD mode in ping pong mode. Creating that just gorgeous kind of rhythmic fun out of that to this. Literally sounds like sea foam. It couldn't be better named, could it? I mean, come on. Foamy delay, foamy reverb. <laughs> yeah. 
In this example, we have the TR8 being fed directly into sea legs. It actually responds to line level stuff. And of course we can drive. Good time. If I hold this um, Alt control, we can adjust the drive and trim it, meaning we can drive it even harder. <laughs> yes. Then of course, to our drive, we can add Digi with color. And then modulate. Perhaps the one we want to mess with is envelope follower. The rate control is going to control the sort of attack and fall, the rise and fall of the envelope follower. And then let's go short. Oof. Woof. I like that. machine and let's uh, modulate the time and width yeah that's good let's use another true machine to modulate the other time and width So it's tempo sync, and it is tempo sync to a common clock that the TR8 is synced to. modulating the delay time. Oh. Sounds like a, there's a snare in there. Now there is. Very weird. So.
the vast. <laughs> he swaps. Here, let's play with just the fog by itself. Which we can do if you put it in mix mode. Turn the mix amount down. Just a lovely stereo kind of sound. I think it satisfies. sort of need and there is one control decay that's the shortest amount it can be as we hold alt it increases in size seconds. Two, three, four, five. Close to that you had delay. stops really being a melody, starts being textural and a frozen vibe. Did you? So it shifted without the big. of like flangy short things it's very interesting for adding stereo character hear that we're in short mode with tape and ping pong we can adjust the width and then add feedback with the fog applied as well. Filter. And color. Breaks up the tape, but if we stick it in digi mode, we get fizzy crust. feedbacks there. And of course, we add some wow flutter depth. Make it go wonk. Stereo spread our drums a little bit. That's using the built-in effects here. That's good though. They sound like peas in a pod now. Add feedback. Whoa. Sure.
swampy. See Legsy. Thank you, Aragon. With uh, the BBD mode, one of colour. Adding that. Lovely gristle. And then if I take the mod output, I can then, of course, root it to all of these. Let's try time. of the LFO. And what I'm doing here is a really nice application of time controls on CV controllable delays. That is to say using a square wave up and down can push time control to two different locations. Because we have an attenuator, we can rein in where those locations are with judicious use of the initial dial. there's a pitch shifting element as it's shoving the delay forward and back and kind of try and tune a kind of complementary melody that plays against the original sequence. Like this, uh, 
especially be enjoying these wobbly little flangery things.
she be ace. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please do consider signing up on Patreon. Link below. That is the best way to support this channel, which is my full-time job. <laughs> uh, and so, yes, please consider doing so. It helps keep me going. Thank you to the awesome patrons, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>